We are people of the Pacific, frontline communities, grassroots organizations, and indigenous people. We are rooted in our cultures, protected by our people, and connected by our ocean. We see immense loss, a world ravaged by natural disasters, droughts, floods, storm surges, and cyclones. We see a world where greed trumps humanity, and our planet that sustains is slowly being taken away. This September, we will take climate change and human rights to the International Court of Justice. With the support of our governments, partners, and community leaders, an advisory opinion can answer the question of what are the minimum actions that states must take under international law and in line with the latest scientific guidance to protect the rights of current and future generations from the adverse effects of climate change. In doing so, it would cement the science that there is a rapidly closing window in which states can act collectively to prevent further catastrophic impacts on vulnerable communities. It would also strengthen national ambition towards the goals of the Paris Agreement and place human rights obligations at the center of national and international policies and responses. While the Vanuatu government is leading this charge on the political front, there is a real need for collaboration among civil society and non-state actors to get this campaign to the finish line. We are the Pacific Island Students Fighting Climate Change and we support the ICJAO. We are Greenpeace Australia Pacific and we support the ICJAO. We are the Pacific Islands Climate Action Network and we support the ICJAO. We are 350 Pacific and we support the ICJAO. We are calling on our Pacific leaders and leaders of the world, civil society organisations and partners everywhere to join us. Help us take the world's biggest problem to the world's highest court.